When it comes to nuclear or conventional firepower, no other air, land, or sea platform can compare to the 18 Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. The U.S. nuclear submarines are built to be silent, packed to the gills with nuclear weapons, and able to keep going no matter what comes their way. There are hundreds of nuclear weapons lying dormant in the oceans around the world thanks to the 14 nuclear-armed Ohio-class submarines that are always on the lookout for an unexpected strike on the United States. Now you know what makes them so badass. In the 1950s, the United States put a lot of faith in its nuclear deterrent. Large rockets or cruise missiles launched from a surface submarine were initially considered by the United States Navy as a viable nuclear deployment technique at sea. Early efforts unfortunately produced cumbersome missiles that necessitated heavily modified submarines and extensive pre-launch preparation. The Navy's Polaris A-1 SSB end and ballistic missile submarine had been built by 1960. The solid rocket fuel motors on the Polaris A-1 were chemically stable enough to remain stored in the missile for lengthy periods of time, while the missile itself had a range of 1,400 miles. It had three bombs, each of which could detonate with a force of 200 kilotons of TNT. Polaris missiles were small enough to be housed singly in underground silos, up to a maximum of 16 per missile submarine, two rows of eight silos. Submarine launch ballistic missiles joined bombers and ICBMs as pillars of the nuclear triad despite the missile's short range, which necessitated the submarine's operation in close proximity to the Soviet Union. The United States Navy started making preparations for its fifth series of ballistic missile submarines in the 1970s. The Ohio class would be the longest and most massive American submarines ever measuring in at 560 feet in length and weighing in at 18,750 tons submerged. There are usually 15 officers and 140 enlisted men and women on a crew. Officially, the submarines are able to dive 800 feet, however, this is widely believed to be above 1,500 feet. Each submarine can receive up to 60,000 horsepower from a single General Electric S8 G nuclear reactor that drives two steam turbines. The Ohio class is optimized for use below the water surface, allowing it to move at speeds of 30 knots or more and stay submerged indefinitely, with the only constraints being the availability of fuel and supplies for the crew. Each submarine has a nuclear weapon and four torpedo tubes measuring 533 millimeters in diameter. While it was the missile boat's primary duty to avoid detection, it also had to be prepared to destroy an attacking Soviet submarine if necessary. Ohio-class submarines have relied mostly on the Mark 48 guided torpedo, which has since been updated to the Mark 48 ADCAP advanced capability. Submarine launch ballistic missiles are the principal weapon of the Ohio-class, which are kept in an elevated location beneath the sail. The Trident C-4 missiles were installed in the silos of the first eight Ohio-class submarines. Each missile weighed 73,000 pounds, had a capacity of eight Mark IV re-entry vehicles, and had a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. A successor to the Trident C-4, the Trident II D-5 weighs 130,000 pounds and has a space for 12 Mark IV re-entry vehicles. Given that the D-5 is almost twice as hefty as its predecessor and carries only four more warheads, it is highly improbable that the Navy's claim that the missile has a range of 4,000 nautical miles is accurate. The range can reach practically every target in the Northern Hemisphere, with the Center for Strategic and International Studies estimating an actual range of around 6,500 nautical miles. One thermonuclear bomb is housed in each Mark IV re-entry vehicle, the overwhelming majority are W761 warheads, which have an explosive yield of 90 kilotons or 90,000 tons of TNT. While each Trident D5 is capable of carrying 12 warheads, it is believed that only 4 to 5 are currently deployed in this time of relative peace. The United States debuted the W762, a low-yield derivative of the W76 in 2020. Each W-76-2 has a yield of 4.5 to 5 kilotons. On average, each submarine in service has between one and two tridents equipped with a single W-76-2 torpedo. Fast speeds are maintained by the 14 ballistic missile submarines of the Ohio class, so that as many of them as feasible are always at sea. 
At any given time, just a handful of submarines are resting in dry dock. The remainder are either leaving for or returning from patrol, undergoing training, or engaged in nuclear deterrence patrol. And that's it for today. Do stay tuned for more videos from the buzz and hit that notification bell for more videos from the buzz.